Hi guys, Tara Logan again with part three of how to edit your team easywealth.com WordPress blog. And again, this is assuming that you've um, already got your JV blog and you've got your information and you're arriving at a screen like this and you're going to put in your username and your password and you'll log in and uh, you will arrive at your dashboard. Okay, so I've logged in. I'm going to use this screen, toggle it, for us to go back over to the the blog. So we have both screens working here. Okay, so here we are at the dashboard. And um, in the first video, we talked about the heat map options. The second video, we talk about the widgets. The third video, I'm going to talk about the settings and then just go over a few things. So the settings are going to take care of what it says here, free Team Easy Wealth blog offer, free sample blog number one. Okay, you're going to want to change that out, of course, with your own information. So to do that, you go to Settings down here. I'm going to close that drop-down window. We're going to go to Settings, okay? And we're just going to click that. It's the General Settings. So if you were to click the drop-down menu, it would be the General Settings that you want. Okay, so the site title, you're going to want to put a nice descriptive title about about your blog, uh, use some keywords, help the search engines, help them help you get, uh, sorry about that, computer took over there, help them help you get really good search engine listings, right? The tagline, you know, I wrote free sample blog number one. I'm not terribly worried about getting search engine listings for these blogs because Team Easy Wealth members are going to find these blogs and this is, these are just sample blogs, but in the tagline again you want to use keywords that pertain to what your blog is about. Okay, the WordPress address you just leave. Okay, leave those alone. You want to put your email address. You might want to put like a garbage or a junk email address because you, you'll get your spam notifications and things like that when people are on your website trying to post things. Okay, it's not a big deal. If you make any changes, which really you should, right? You should be making the changes so that your blog is found by the search engines. And you press save changes. Okay. And that will that will change out this here. It will say what you just put in there. So some things I want to go over that I felt maybe I didn't quite explain in the first couple of videos very well. I would like to go back to the appearance here. And I'd like to go back to heat map options. Okay. And this featured page thing here, you know, if if you don't um, if you don't want it to be a feature page, if you just want the, the blog to be nothing but posts, then I believe you just do that. Press save. And um, I believe that, there you go. You see you have no feature page now. And your sample page is over here. Okay, and sample page is obviously like, you know, page one or welcome to my blog or whatever topic you're talking about. Okay, this is obviously a very basic setup. And myself, I like to have a featured page. And my featured page is generally an introduction page. And it's about a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs long, no more than that. And it's full of keywords, strategically placed and used in sentences that, does, that do make sense. Okay, so that's the little bit about your feature page option there. And I think I've put it back, and my otherwise known as sample page should be back there. Again you'll notice there's your ad there but because we have the settings set to only show one ad per page there's no ad there but it's there now. Okay, So I felt that that was important to point out. Another thing I'd like to point out is the widgets and one obvious thing I didn't mention and I'm sure it's obvious for some people, but not obvious for others who are just starting, is that when I say, you know, this is my HTML here, that's our badge. Let's go to the sidebar. Okay. And I've got my $1 text ad code here, which basically produces these ads right here. 
what you would put in place is your code whatever you have an affiliate program you want to put some text you want to put uh, any kind of graphic point is you probably want to get rid of my advertising and put your own so that's obvious you know you replace my HTML which is this with your HTML but if you're a newbie you might have been listening to me going well what do I put in there if you know you've got your stuff in there what do I put in there well affiliate programs give you banners and they give you the code and and whatnot so that's what you would put in there and um, any questions please contact me Skype me um, and or, or email me. You can get my contact information at the teameasywealth.com. That's team T E A M E Z wealth.com. Team teameasywealth.com. And it's a free online business opportunity for you to join with a lot of great perks. So um, again, thanks for for joining and upgrading. And I hope that you enjoy your blog. Contact me with any questions, and um, you know, just do it. Let's make some money. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, Tara Logan here with Team Easy Wealth, and welcome to our tutorial teaching you how to edit your WordPress blog. When you join TeamEasyWealth.com, you get an opportunity to upgrade to what is called Joint Venture Member, and there are many perks to being a Joint Venture Member, and one of them is getting a free customizable WordPress blog. So this is assuming that you've already got your JV membership and uh, you're here ready to edit out all those advertising spaces on your blog. So when you become a JV member, you will be contacted, you'll be given your proper WordPress login information. And with that information, you will arrive to a screen that looks something like this. So I'm gonna log in then with my username and password and I'm going to come into the WordPress dashboard, okay? And right here is what we're going to edit first. Right here on your left-hand side is uh, your dashboard, some navigation here. We're going to go to Appearance, and we're going to open up the drop-down menu by uh, clicking that very faint arrow right there. We're going to go to Heat Map Options. This is a heat map theme installed on WordPress. and there's an awful lot of things that I have not even touched. I've done a very basic setup. You can edit anything here and don't be afraid. Everything is, uh, you can't break it and you've got support with me. So this is the um, this is the first option here which is called your home page option and when you open up the drop down menu you see here you'll have a drop down list of pages that you create. If you want to change it right now of course we just have sample page. So the sample page is the feature page. So um, when you get more pages and you want to make a, a new page to be the feature page, this is where you change it. Okay, You can play with all of this and see what it does. When you're done making your changes, press save. Okay, So when you want to make that change, that's the home page. This CEO, Search Engine Optimization, we're going to open that up. If you have a plugin that's some kind of other software, you can click yes. You know, and it'll it'll recognize it. Right here is the home page meta description. You want to put a description of what your blog is about, what you're going to be blogging about. Um, these blogs, you know, free, feel free to use them for any any niche. Uh, we don't allow gambling or or adult and stuff. It has to be family oriented and G-rated. So, but whatever you like, put that description right there, and then put your keywords right there. Very important. These tags are important too. And you know, I'm going to click that right here h2 tags to the post titles and the page titles that helps the search engine recognize what your blog's about so make sure you use keywords in your titles every every word counts right here is the home page search engine optimization text okay and right now i have it in between h1 tags okay you want to change out this here because right now it's talking about the free customizable wordpress blogs that you get for free and you already know about that so change it to if your blog is about you know your home business uh, home office something like that you know put those keywords right in here in a nice sentence that makes sense that people will read not don't just stuff it full of keywords make it so it's a nice sentence that makes sense okay so save it let's see I added a period there punctuation okay and then we can close that up now we go down here a theme structure you know 
the sidebar you can put on the left or right or whatever you like header and logo you can change out okay and you'll see that you can change out the header and logo if you've got a an image on your computer you can browse to it so those things feel free to drop down to everything go through the drop down menus and go through everything um, I'm not going to get into anything this here I'm going to point out the footers you can put advertising in the footers I've got something here mentioning Team Easy Wealth you know you might want to keep that but put your Team Easy Wealth affiliate URL so you get credit from referrals okay um, and then we're going to go right down here I haven't done anything with featured images or Google or any of these two things feel free to explore that contact me if you have questions but I'm going to go to the social network icons here, really important. I just have a few. I've got my Facebook, the Team Easy Wealth fan page, which by the way you should become a fan of and like. My Twitter ID and my YouTube ID, where um, you'll find lots of Team Easy Wealth videos by the way. I have said yes to the OnePlus button, the Twitter button, the Facebook button, of course, and save it. So that's the first part of the tutorial here and basically the things that we covered was the this here we edited the icons here you want to edit those to reflect yours not mine um, we edited this up here made it yours we added keywords you know underneath the hood I like to say the meta tags okay so with that um, send me an email via the support through teameasywealth.com website if you have any questions and um, again thank you for upgrading I'll have a couple more videos for you and uh, okay well here's to your success bye for now